Hey everyone! How's it going? Today I am here to talk to you about Booktubeathon and all the wonderful books that I read throughout the week. It was a very, very productive week for me. I got through all seven books, surprisingly. Um, it was a very, very, very busy week last week, but I managed to do it throughout work and you know, lots of things going, into my, going on in my life and uh, it happened. So I'm very, very excited about that. So without further ado, let's just jump in and I'll talk to you about what I read. So the first book I read was Sexing the Cherry by Jeanette Winterson. I know in my couple of videos ago I raved about this thing. This was just absolutely incredible. I do have a lot to say about this book, but I am too afraid to make a full review video of this um, because I'm afraid I'm just going to sound unintelligent. So I will refrain from that. But if you have read this book and would like to chat about it, I would absolutely love to do that. Um, Anyway, real short, the story follows two main characters. Um, we meet the dog woman, who's this absolutely incredible character. She's this big, boisterous, um, very masculine murderer, murderous woman who um, finds this baby in the river and sort of takes him and, and raises, raises him as her own. Um, and then we meet Jordan, who is the baby, but he grows up to be this sort of very flighty like uh, dreamer who lives in fairy tales. He lives like the fine line between reality and fairy tales and, and imagination and dreams. And it's this wonderful dichotomy you've got between these two characters, this earthy uh, dog mother and then this uh, sort of very, um, you know, in his head all the time, this guy who's, who's, you know, talking about dreams and imagination and all these things. This book deals with lots of different themes, including gender and sexuality and time. Time plays a huge role in this book. Um, and also, you know, like I said, reality and dreams and, and, and the like. So um, I just want to read you this one quote that I think is absolutely phenomenal. One of the biggest um, themes, I guess, in this book is how time, how time doesn't exist and how, well, I'll just read this to you and I'll explain this better. So she says, time has no meaning. Space and place have no meaning on this journey. All times can be inhabited, all places visited. In a single day, the mind can make a mill pond of the oceans. Some people who have never crossed the land they were born on have traveled all over the world. The journey is not linear. It is always back and forth, denying the calendar, the wrinkles and lines of the body. The self is not contained in any moment or any place, but it is only in the intersection of moment and place that the self might, for a moment, be seen vanishing through a door which disappears at once. If you like postmodernism, if you like magical realism, if you just like to read some bizarre story um, about all these things that I've said, you will love Sexing the Cherry. So please um, read it and tell me what you think and let's chat about this book. The next book I read was Problems by Jade Sharma and I tore through this book. I think it took me like a day and a half to read. This novel follows Maya, who is basically an anti-hero. Um, she is a heroin addict who is having an affair with her college professor and you just follow her journey through this terrible, terrible addiction that she has, but it really opens your eyes to addiction itself. And, um, there's lots of talk of gender and feminism and sexuality and, um, sex workers. And it's just a really, really incredible read. Um, it's dark. It's funny at times. Um, it's very witty. Um, you really don't like Maya as a character, but I could not stop reading. Like, sometimes when you don't like a character, I'm just, well, you know, want to give up and throw the book away. But no, like, this book is written so well um, that you just want to keep reading what happens. And it's, she, um, Jane Sharma writes this book in a really interesting way. And she sort of, I don't know if I can show you, writes in little chunks here and there throughout the whole book, which at first I kind of thought was a little annoying because I wasn't used to it. But as you get on with it you sort of they're they're there as like little breathers because some of the subject matter in this is really tough to sort of comprehend and, and take in so you get those little moments to sort of put it down and get breathe um and you also can sit and like you know think about the choices that that maya has made in her life and sort of really uh analyze her character and stuff it's a really really incredible character study also um but in the end you know i absolutely loved it i think i gave this novel four stars um so if you know this sounds like this interests you i highly highly recommend problems all right, this next book needs no introduction. I read The Color Purple by Alice Walker. I could not believe that I had never read this book before. Um, this is definitely a book that I am going to keep with me throughout my whole entire life. This was just 
as you probably know if you've read this book, it absolutely and brilliant and incredible. I don't know that I need to really say anything about this novel. I think that if you've never read it, you really should pick it up right now and read it. It is really, really, really important. Um, I, yeah, I honestly, I don't think I'm going to say anything about it because, you know, it, this deserves to just be picked up and savored and and read. And there was a moment, the moment in this book when you discover where the title comes from. I literally was like tearing up and it was just absolutely gorgeous. And, you know, if you know what I'm talking about, you probably agree with me. But um, go ahead and, and pick this up, you guys. The uh, only thing I did not do in this book tubathon was watch a movie and I was going to watch Color Purple. So I still have yet to watch that. But, you know, I hear amazing things about that. So that's The Color Purple by Alice Walker. The next fun little book I read was Jen Campbell's Weird Things Customers Say in Bookstores, which is the American version because her original is in bookshops, of course. Um, this was just a fun collection of ridiculous things that um, has happened to Jen Campbell herself as she's worked in a bookshop and also lots of other um, submissions about, you know, crazy, crazy things that people have said. I'll just turn to one real fast. You should consider arranging your books by size and color but then no one would be able to find anything. Well, that doesn't matter. It would look pretty. Really, really fun read. Took me, you know, a day to read and, um, oh, bookmark. Um, yeah, a lot of fun. Laughed a lot. So that was the weird things customers say in bookshops. I'm going to end, I'm going to end with a good one, but I will take you through this novel, which I did not enjoy at all. This is Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. Oh gosh. This was the book I read when the sun went down. And whew, this was a hard one for that because the main thing I did not like about this book was the prose was just so convoluted to me. It took this, the narrator, like this huge chunk of text to express herself in something that could take this chunk of text. I mean, it was just, uh, it was tedious to me. Um, and the, the problem was at night I am very, very tired and I literally, like it took me till Sunday you know, right, I literally finished this at 11.30 on Sunday. Um, it was just really, really hard to get through. So I don't think I'm going to continue on with this, with the trilogy. Um, so yeah, that's Annihilation. Didn't like it. So this was The Invoice by Jonas Carlson. Um, I have not hauled this book for you yet, but I got this really recently. Um, this was really short and it took me a day to get through. You guys, this was wonderful. Um, I, re I read his first novel, which was called The Room, I believe. Um, but this was a fun novel about this man who receives in the mail a bill that he owes for, how much was it? 5,700,000 kroner. So obviously this book takes place in Switzerland. This was, um, oh, I should have said this was translated from the Swedish by Neil Smith. Um, so yeah, he gets this bill for this huge, insane amount of money. And obviously he thinks it's a joke at first, but throughout, you know, throughout the book, he realizes this is not a joke. It's real. And he's missed out on the fact that in the world, I think, um, it is now, it's now required that you pay for your life experiences. Um, so depending on how, you know, fulfilling your life is, the higher, you know, you have to pay. So you have to pay for things like, you know, noticing the sun in the sky or noticing birds, you know, flying in the air or, you know, watching a television show, you know, the little things in life that you have to actually pay for. But anyway, it's just this wonderful comment about happiness and, you know, enjoying the little things in life. And, um, you know, can you put a price on happiness, really? Um, it's just, if you're ever feeling down in the dumps, just really pick this up. it take you a second to read. It's just so charming and witty and fun and, you know, really makes you think about your own life and, you know, making sure you, you really appreciating those little things in life that um, you might appreciate even more if you knew that you had to pay for them. Um, so uh, that's The Invoice by Jonas Carlson. So the last book I read, I did not, I was not planning on reading this, um, but I am a part of the Feminist Orchestra Book Club here on BookTube and on Goodreads that is um, started by Jean from Jean's Bookish Thoughts. And I'll go ahead and link her chair or her, I'll link the uh, book club information down below. So this month we're reading two things. We're reading a poetry collection by Carol Ann Duffy called Feminine Gospels, which I am sort of dipping in and out of. Which is absolutely gorgeous. But I went ahead and ordered this and I read this for the book tubathon. It was, it is Take It as a Compliment by Maria Stoyan. Now this book is absolutely important and whew, it was hard to get through. I mean, it, you know, it's a graphic novel. It's small, but 
but it was really, really tough to get through. So what this book does is it takes different stories of sexual violence that Maria Stoyan has collected from various anonymous sources, and she puts them the, here in a way that is absolutely brilliant. She takes different aesthetics and different designs and puts them in a graphic novel form, and it's just mind-blowing and shocking and pretty pretty incredible to say the to say the least um these are really really important i think for people to you know know that they're not the only ones going through things like this and you know to reach out to people if you need you know if they need to it's just you know i'll talk about more i'll talk more about this later on um, when i go over my uh, book club stuff but anyway i'm rambling this was really good <laughs> i'll take it as a compliment so what I would like to do right now is go over which books I read for each challenge because I forgot to do that. Okay, really fast. This was read a book after sunset. This was read a book that is older than you and watch the movie adaptation, which I have not done. This was read a book by your favorite author and um, yellow on the cover, as was this one, yellow on the cover. The rest were just to fulfill read seven books. This one also goes for uh, reading a book that I discovered through BookTube. So that's it. Um, Booktubeathon was awesome. I loved it. I can't wait to do it again next year. I couldn't believe I got through all my books. Um, I had a great time talking to people. I met a lot of people. Um, just had a really, uh, really great time overall. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe if you'd like. And um, go ahead and leave a comment down below if you've read any of these books. If you want to talk about any of these books. If you want to pick up one of these books. Or you can just tell me how the weather is for you wherever you live right now that would be cool too i love to talk to you okay so that's it <laughs> um yeah so remember to be kind to each other no i cannot get my outro right i need practice please remember to be kind listen to each other and read some good books ha ha